If you want to check out snippets from my own cartoony sci-fi comic series, Smacked in the Head the Animated Series, hopefully crowdfunding soon, there's a link in the description below. The story always starts the same way. In 1966, there have been stories of a terrifying creature. These stories existed as part of a myth that circulated around Michigan and Wisconsin for years. But the myth went mainstream in 1987. A well-known scientist released a book with information that could impact everyone on Earth. It was something about the CIA. But these creatures are not so easy to dismiss anymore. They've been terrifying people for years. In the past, it's been easy to dismiss these sightings as mistakes or superstitions. Now, we have pictures. Welcome back, kids! Do you know the Y files? A few months ago, I came across them when they had a few thousand subs, and then I swear, like a week later, AJ and Hecklefish blew up to a million. And I'm not the only person that saw this happen. Looking at the comments, so many people were saying, I just found your channel, and I binged them all. And just what does that say about the nefarious nature of the YouTube algorithm, I ask you? We're never getting monetized. Anywho, I promise another comic review with bad voiceovers and sound effects is coming, since two people demand that I bring them back. Really, any interaction on this channel more than none is a big win. Anyway, it's coming. I'm just trying to find the right comic and dealing with a lot of life stuff at the moment. No, I've got a cousin with a unibrow. Different affliction. Ah. Be patient, true believers. Speaking of life stuff, while searching through job listings, I came across a post for a freelance researcher. That sounded more like an actual script writer. For the Y Files. I was like, hey, I love that show. That'd be an awesome gig. So I started watching videos again and decided to throw up a drawing slash review video as an excuse to draw Hecklefish and get a video up on the channel since it's been a while. The Y Files, for those not in the know, is a channel focusing on conspiracy theories, UFO encounters, time travel theories, mythic or lost places, and much more. They're not afraid to discuss crazy theories, analyze all the available information of a particular topic, and then discuss the facts to see if the accounts still have merit, all while skirting the YouTube censors. The show is hosted by AJ and his sidekick Hecklefish, the truest believer of them all, who naturally heckles him. And today we're talking about math facts that seem to defy logic. Your hair defies logic. What is that? What is what? You look like a one-man boy band who got old. Ooh, fah, I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than a frontal lobotomy. Oh, that old gem. <laughs> I got a million of them. What's on your head? It's hair product? Hair product? <laughs> I'm glad I got scales. Can I just get through this intro, please? Go ahead, Grandpa Timberlake, do your thing. I'll be honest and tell you that it took a couple of episodes for me to warm up to him, but I can't imagine them doing this show without him. The most alluring things in life are often those that are unattainable. So true. What? Sheila. Ooh, talk about alluring and unattainable. These are the ones where they pick a safe word, right? No. Peanut brittle. We don't need a... Uh, I guess that's two words, right? Um, ASMR has nothing to do platypus. with... Platypus! If you're into the paranormal or unexplained, it's a fun show. Though I will admit every once in a while they touch on a subject that leaves me feeling like I need to go lay down for a while afterwards. The simulation theory one and the computer virus that caused World War III are great examples of that. I lost my train of thought. Yeah, you're really uh, floundering. Ha! Uh, floundering. You see what I did there? Oh, I'm on fire today, baby. The video I'm waiting for, though, is the one on the government's involvement with a top secret project to create talking fish to act as spies and report back. I like to think that Hecklefish was such a blabbermouth that he was kicked out of the program. <laughs> it's been a long day, folks. I was listening to the Secret Places episode talking about the seed vault. That's why Hecklefish is saying. So if they drop bombs on us, 
and we still got tomatoes? I couldn't decide on what he should be saying in the speech balloon. The obvious one is... Lizard people? Pretty much his catchphrase. Sheep. Anyway, that's all for me, folks. Hopefully AJ is cool with a fan art video. They're big shots big time now and really don't need my piddly endorsement of the channel. But like I've said on this channel before, I can get opinionated in some videos here and there, but for the most part, I like to try to make this channel a fun escape and try to focus on recommending things that I like. So go check them out. Tell Hecklefish I said hi. He'll know what it means. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. It looks like someone haphazardly slapped a human mouth on a fish and called it good. Eh, yeah, seems okay to me.